Welcome class 7. In this video, we will start discussing chapter 3 computer virus of the book ICC Understanding Computer Studies class 7. Let's start. Do you fall sick? Illness is common in the lives of human beings. Sometimes we fall sick and the doctor diagnoses it as a seasonal fever or a viral fever. We take advice from the doctor and recover in a few days. When a person is sick, he or she shows some unusual symptoms. He or she doesn't feel fit enough to go back to his or her routine work. So this is a introductory para. Now the next para. Similarly, a computer also falls sick. During this period, a computer shows unusual symptoms or behaviors. Though computer doesn't suffer from cough and cold or seasonal fever, but the strange behavior indicates that the system is infected by a virus. These viruses are not biological in nature but they affect the software of the computer system. Sometimes these viruses can be so harmful that they can corrupt the important programs or documents in the computer system. They can even reformat your computer system automatically without even bringing it to your notice. In today's world, a virus can be considered as electronic terrorist. In this chapter, we are going to discuss about the computer viruses. So what is computer virus? Computer virus is a software that affects the computer system. Like biological virus affects us. When biological virus affects us, we fall sick and show some irregular symptoms or unusual symptoms. Similarly, when computer virus affects the computer system, it also falls sick and shows some unusual symptoms. This is the similarity between biological virus and computer virus. Now what is the difference between them? The difference is biological viruses are naturally exist. But computer viruses are man-made virus. Sometimes computer viruses are so harmful that they can reformat your machine without your concern. So nowadays they are considered as electronic terrorist. Now the second topic, what is a computer virus? Virus is a computer program which runs on any computer system without the user's knowledge. Once it is loaded in the computer system, it starts damaging the system automatically. As a result, the system may come to a halt or even crash. So, what is computer virus? Computer viruses are some computer programs that runs on our system without user's knowledge. Once it loaded in our system, it starts damaging our system automatically. So our system is in trouble then. Okay. Now the next topic. Why do people create and spread viruses? There is no proper reason that why people want to create this type of softwares. Uh, maybe for testing their skills uh, or for experiment purpose. Some people uh, wants to create this software for doing some unfair means etc. Some reasons are given below. The first reason is they don't think about the consequences other have to face. 
means they don't think that uh, for their creation one can face lots of problem they don't think so they draw a false distinction between creating publishing viruses and distributing them means they draw some false difference or dissimilarities between uh, creating this type of softwares publishing this type of softwares and uh, distributing this type of softwares next they consider it to be the responsibility of someone else to protect system from their creation means they think that it is someone's responsibility to protect their own machine from this type of computer software okay next this is the way they fight with the authority sometime this is one of the way uh, chosen by someone to fight with the authority they think it is a way of getting attention or recognition from their peers means they think that if they do such type of blunder then they get some attention from their companions next they wants to engage the antivirus vendor in the job means if there is no virus then antivirus softwares are of no use so sometimes they wants to provide a job to the antivirus vendors that's why they uh, wants to create computer viruses okay these are some reasons that why do people wants to create uh, this computer virus now the next topic source of viruses a virus never raise an alarm before getting into the system they don't give any alert message before getting into your system thus the user has to be alert while working with the system or browsing unwanted websites through the internet so users has to be alert while using internet the user should be aware of the various sources by which viruses may enter into the computer system user ha has to know that how this type of viruses get into the, into his or her system a few sources of virus are a virus infected floppy disk or other storage media that is compact disk digital versatile disk pen drive can easily infect your system means infected cds dvds and pen drives uh, can infect your system if you use any infected cd or dvds or pen drive then it can infect your system so don't use this type of infected cds dvds or pen drive be aware of it next point pirated software if you use some pirated software pirated means copied software then it can infect your system next hired computer game or audio or video cds if you allow to enter uh, any hired cd dvd or pen drive of some computer game or some movies then it can affect your system next point browsing unwanted website through internet means some unwanted websites are there in internet uh, that contains various type of uh, viruses if you surf on that websites or if you open that type of website then it may affect your system next unwanted mails in the spam folder 
means do not open spam folders or email sent by some unknown person maybe it uh, contain virus okay next topic symptoms for a virus attack if your system is affected by a virus you may notice one or more of these symptoms if there is a virus in your machine then you may face this type of symptoms the speed of the processor become comparatively slow means it can reduce your processor's speed you may get unusual message on the screen you may get some uh, unusual message unwanted message in your screen while working next the disk drive light may constantly flash means uh, if you have a disk drive light in your system then it may constantly flash on and off next the opening or closing of programs or data files take more time means it may reduce the speed of whole system speed of processor so uh, if we want to open some file then it may take a lots of time or uh, if you want to close your uh, file then it may take a lots of time the program may not run even if they run they don't function properly sometime you sometime you may face lots of problem in opening a file or um, to close some file properly or it may happens that they don't work properly the size of the infected file increases thus the available memory decreases means sometime it happens that uh, the file that are infected uh, occupies a huge memory space that's why that's why the processor speed decreases the system may frequently restart without the knowledge of the user means the system gets restarted again and again frequently next the system may not be able to read the content of the cd dvd and pen drive if you insert a cd dvd or pen drive then the system will not be able to read that next the data file may corrupt or show unusual symbols or character in place of the actual data means sometime it happens that if you open a file you will see some unusual characters or symbol instead of the data inside that file okay so these are some symptoms of the virus attack now the next topic types of viruses viruses can be classified into two categories on the basis of their behavior they are of two types general infector and system infector general infector are further classified into worm trojan and bomb and system infectors are further classified into boot sector virus program virus macro virus and stealth virus that's all in this video in the next video we will discuss this type of viruses in detail bye